senior Congress leader Ahmed Patel, one of Sonia Gandhi's closest political advisor and a top party troubleshooter, has died. He was 71. He had been in a Gurgaon hospital since his health worsened after a COVID infection. In a tweet, his son Faisal Patel said that the Rajya Sabha MP from Gujarat died at 3.30 in the morning today. Ahmed Patel, also the treasurer of the Congress, had tested positive for COVID-19 on the 1st of October and had been admitted to the ICU of the Medanta Hospital in Gurgaon on the 15th of November. Messages of condolences poured in soon after the announcement of Mr. Patel's death. And uh, here we have uh, the Prime Minister tweeting uh, as well uh, as far as uh, we also have uh, saddened uh, by the demise. Uh, in fact, we also have messages coming in from, uh, this is a message of the Prime Minister, saddened by the demise of Ahmed Patelji. He spent years in public life serving society, known for his sharp mind, his role in strengthening the Congress party would always be remembered. किसी के साथ बुरे तरीके से बात नहीं करते थे, निम्रता से बात करते थे, और मैं समझता हूँ कि जो उनके जो जाती रिलेशनशिप थे, चाहे वो ऑपोजिशन के साथ क्यों ना हो, मतलब कि वो संबंध रखते थे, वो ऐसे आदमी थे जो सब के साथ संबंध रखते थे, और उनको मालूम था कि कभी ना कभी, कहीं ना कहीं नाराज करोगे तो साथ भी लेना पड़ेगा किसी ना तो नाराज करने का कोई किसी को फायदा नहीं है तो मेरे तो क्या व्यक्तिगत उनके साथ जो संबंध थे उसके बारे में कहना नहीं चाहता लेकिन जिस तरह से उन्होंने कांग्रेस पार्टी को संभाला कोई और शख्स कभी नहीं संभाल सकता था बुरे वक्त में संभालते थे अच्छे वक्त में खुद कुछ नहीं लेते थे कभी पद नहीं मांगा कभी मिनिस्ट्री नहीं मांगी हमेशा कांग्रेस पार्टी के प्रति जो उनका पैशन था कमिटमेंट थी वो मैंने आज तक किसी कांग्रेसमैन में नहीं देखी। we have my colleague Arvind joining us. Arvind, a sad day. Congress has lost one of its strongest pillars today. Yeah, Divya. In fact, the senior Congress leader and also the treasurer of the party, Mr. Ahmed Patel, has succumbed to the COVID infection today early morning, somewhere around 3 a.m. That's what his son has given a statement. In fact, Ahmed Patel, who is an eight-term, eight-time parliamentarian, three times in the Lok Sabha and also five times in the Raj Sabha, was admitted to the hospital on October 1st after after getting infected with the COVID-19 virus. So, so since November 15, he has been in the Medanta hospital at the ICU ward. So today morning around 3 a.m. he has succumbed to the infection. So what we are being told is that a decision is it to be taken where his mortal remains will be taken, whether it will be taken to the Delhi or whether it would be taken to his hometown in Gujarat. So that particular decision is it to be taken. What we are being told is that somewhere around 12 o'clock, 12 noon, we will be getting a decision where the mortal remains will be taken. Also, as Congress President Sonia Gandhi has put out a statement, a strong st uh, uh, a statement that shows her emotion. She also said that she has lost uh, an, an, irrep an irreplaceable uh, a comrade, a colleague and a friend also. That's, uh, in fact, not just Sonia Gandhi, also all uh, several Congress leaders across from different uh, part of the country has also come up with their own statement, not just Congress party leaders, even party, even leaders from several parties, including BJP, even Prime Minister has put out a statement, even, even Home Minister Amit Shah has given a statement, even uh, NCP uh, Congress, uh, even NC, uh, NCP's leader Sharad Pawar has also put a statement. In fact, Ahmed Batel has been the chief uh, strategist and also the troubleshooter for the Congress party for, for since uh, since Sonia Gandhi took reins of the party uh, in 1997. So since 1997, Ahmed Patel has been a pillar of the Congress party and he has been the go-to man and also he has been the coordinator, chief coordinator between the party and also the government when UPA in both UPA 1 and UPA 2. So Ahmed Patel is not just a treasurer of the Congress party but a very big pillar and, become, and being a very strong uh, loyalist and also faithful, uh, a dedicated worker of the Congress party so it's a big loss it's an irreplaceable loss for the congress party and then uh, and the congress party is also planning to give a uh, give a strong farewell for the for the departed leader so we'll be getting to know in the course of the day what kind of uh, events arrangement will be made by the congress party and it all depends on the family's decision whether his mortal remains will be taken to Ahum, will be taken to gujarat or to delhi right uh, thank you so much arvind uh, like you mentioned an irreplaceable loss for the congress party